So let's go back to the application and see what our, our developers has been doing with it. We see a Kubernetes cluster that has been created. Let's go ahead, go ahead and open that. So this Kubernetes cluster is created by the developer themselves using native Kubernetes API. All of this without IT involvement. Let's take a look at what else is running in this application. We see we have a database VM running there. And this looks like any other normal, normal VM. But the cool thing here is that the developers were able to de deploy this VM using Kubernetes. That's right. vSphere has harnessed the power of Kubernetes, not just for the containerized application, but have extended that to the virtual machines as well. With Project Pacific, we're enabling IT to set up guardrails at the application level, like setting up the resource limit. Within those guardrails, we're able to have developers work independently and freely within that framework, and using Kubernetes as an interface to interact with, uh, with our infrastructure.